This is a case of a good idea that's gotten a little bit out of hand. Mrs. Arlene Dunn of Chattanooga, Tennessee lives with close to 1,200 frogs. Not the croaking kind, the kind that sit on shelves, tabletops, in corners, everywhere. China frogs, brass frogs, porcelain frogs, silver frogs, plaster frogs, plastic frogs, paper cutouts of frogs, glass frogs, wood frogs, rock frogs, shell frogs. There are frogs in the bathroom, on the towels and on the soap. In the bedroom, frogs on the pillowcases and the sheets. A basket full of frog jewelry. A rack draped with frog necklaces and belts. She has frogs on things you can mention and even frogs on unmentionables. Croakers in the grandchildren's room plus books, bells, phone toys and even a froggy duo that spins atop a music box while the frogs on the mobile play the accompaniment. Her collection comes from distant countries like India and Austria plus about a half a dozen others and from the corner grocery store. The amazing thing is Mrs. Dunn never planned to collect frogs. Why did you start collecting them? Oh dear, don't ask me that. <laughs> Well, it was sort of a joke to begin with, and um, so one day I told my husband that it would be something good to collect since he, since he does a lot of traveling, it would give him something to do while he's away. And so, most every time he goes out of town, he brings back some frogs. Did you ever imagine things would go this far? No, no. <laughs> well, what do you do with all of them? Well, just dust and rearrange and catalog and just busy, busy. Well, at Christmas time, sometimes it's disappointing because maybe I'll get frogs rather than other gifts. And, oh, I think one Christmas I got about 40. Just between you and me and just so the family doesn't find out, uh, did you ever really want to collect frogs? No, not really. <laughs> It just ended up this yeah. way. Is it usually dangerous to have a, a cup of Coca-Cola at your house? Well, maybe not dangerous, but frightening. In case you're wondering what we're talking about, take a look in the cup here. Now, that's something that'll set you back. With Arlene Dunn, here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I'm Andy Johnston. If it sang at me, I would have died. <laughs> maybe croak. Oh.